Hi there. Hi there. I'm Bob Burridge. Hey, caught me sketching on location. Welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi. This one's all about sketching on location. You know, I do a lot of international workshops all over the world. Pretty exciting. Stay tuned. But a lot of people ask, how do you travel? What do you pack with? These actually are some of the pages out of my international workshops. Here's one from the, uh, down there in Mexico, which I love to do with colored pencils and my sketch pens over here. Oh my gosh, this is pretty emotional for me. This is when I, I taught a workshop at the Abaco in the Bahamas. In fact, here's, here's the cabin I stayed in. And uh, well, as we all know the news, it's not even there anymore. So it makes it extra special, these drawings. You know, we do color and black and white, and it all fits into these canvas bags. We make it very, very portable when I'm doing my sketching on locations. No easels, nothing heavy to do, duty to carry around. All right, quick setups, and uh, let me show you my materials to get into this bag. So what do I take when I do these international workshops? painting and sketching on location. Hey, let me show you all the stuff that I use, okay? Here on my table, it's all spread out. I do have my sketchbook. I love these small sketchbooks. You know, you can just tuck it away a little bit. You know, you don't need to take the big things. Here's what I did when we were in Paris. So wonderful to do little sketches on this size. Also, a little much larger size. Great. Observation, lots of wine bottles and wine glasses. Imagine your surprise. You know, and it all goes inside my canvas bag. I probably wouldn't take all three, I'll just take one. Now for actual painting, these are two wonderful products. The Bristol, Strathmore Bristols, heavy duty sheets. They take a lot of water and color. There's the Fabriano Studio watercolor paper. As you can see, I've already matched it out. So I kind of know what size it's going to be, right? And then one or two of these will go into my canvas bag. For drawing, you probably already know, I love these Faber-Castell Pitt artist pens. There they are, they come in different sizes. And I have a whole bag that I keep all my pencils in. In that bag, I put some Burt's Bees hand sab. It's kind of easier for me to clean my hands at the end of the day. A couple of signing pens, by the way, happens to be the Faber-Castell signing pens, Pitt Artist Pens. And yes, the white, Sharpie, oil-based really does work. It's great for white lines. Don't forget paper towels. I'll stick some paper towels in there. Brushes, look at the brushes. I only carry three or four brushes. Not a whole lot. Simple, simple designs. Something I can use to put a lot of washes down. I'm working my way back here again. I like to use white artist tape or this brown box tape. It's great for taping your paper down, right? Colored pencils. You've seen me use these Inktense Derwent colored pencils. They go on dry. I'm going to do a demo for you. They go on dry. You hit it with water, turns into an instant watercolor, which makes it permanent when it dries. How fantastic. From my actual paint, I don't take a whole lot of paint, but these are the Holbein watercolors. I will take the Holbein watercolors and probably one of every color that's on my color wheel from the Holbein acrylic paints this size. And of course, don't forget, lots of titanium white. It all fits inside this little plastic disposable tray, and that becomes my water tray, which is perfect, right? It all fits very compact, very modular. And of course, I love my watercolors. Yeah, I do watercolors too. There's my little, keep it simple, there's my little pan, my reference colors. After a while, they get so, so muddy, I don't know what colors they are, so I make my own color chart. See, my own color chart, and it matches everything here. Close it all up. These happen to be the Schmeckies. I like, I like my Holbeins, I like Schmeckies, I like the Sennelier's. Now, coming over here, one more thing. Those of you who don't want to stand, this is a wonderful little portable easel. I don't really do a lot of easel painting, but look at this. How cool is this? 
wait a minute, it gets better. <laughs> Those of you who like to do east, uh, uh, canvases, so it's perfect to sit on a table, right? We'll show you the source. It's perfect. And of course, don't forget your hat. Gotta have your hat. Lots of sunscreen, right? Hey, I'll see you uh, outdoors, but now let me actually do a demonstration for you. So I'm on location, comfortable, that's an important part. My sketch pen, my paper, my setup, my colored pencils, I'm comfortable. A little cup of water, here we go. Basically, all I'm doing right now is a typical demonstration in my international workshops, where we don't take a whole lot of a lot of art materials. We do these quick sketches, really quick. No details. We're trying to get the big shapes first. Don't worry about your drawing techniques or your skills. Nobody cares. They just want to see how much fun you're having on location. If I get the big shapes down first, this is going to be the focal point right in here. I already know that that's going to be the focal point. And I just keep my hand moving the whole time. So I have busy areas and big, bold, strong areas like this. I don't try and capture the entire scene. I make these fast. This is not about architectural drawing or rendering. This is all about me getting the essence down. Here we go. Now, I think it's time to put some color in here. So you can see how I just keep my hand, my hand moving the whole time. I love drawing. I love drawing. So now I'm gonna use the Derwin pencils. These are the colored pencils that I love so much. Starting off with yellow. These are the Derwin ink tents. Uh oh. So it's dried right now. I put color everywhere. It's like I continue drawing with this colored pencil. I'll use another one here. Ah, uh, that blew out. Oh man. Once I get started, I can't stop. I like to put several pencils in my hand. Blue, whoa. I have fun at, at this level because I know when I add the water later on, so many other things are going to happen. So I'm just go on here we go. Light washes. Oh, yeah. Let's get some red in here. Is there orange? I want some dramatic colors in here now. paint all over the whole place. Don't stay in one area too long. You'll start getting into detail. This is all about putting color down. It's very graphic, isn't it? Whew. Let's see what other surprises we can come up with. It's time for some water. Now I can either use uh, a brush, or for me today, I'm just going to use my wet fingers. Watch what happens now. Now it turns into a watercolor.
brief sketch on location that I'll come back, maybe, and I can continue drawing on top of it, like this. Here's this paper castell pit artist pen. Even while it's still wet, look at that. I can still come back into it, isn't that cool? That's what I like. When I'm on location, I'm drawing, I just can't stop, so I don't wait. So even a moist watercolor paper, like this one, still takes drawing beautifully. Look at that line. Well, thank you so very much for watching me on location, using the materials that I take all over the world. Hey, I'll see you at the next Bob Blast, and thanks for sharing. See you then. Hey painters, have you ever felt like you just needed to give yourself some time out and just go away and paint just for you? Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and let me tell you about one of my most favorite places to go and paint in Mexico. I was writing it all down in my journal and I was reading it back to myself. And I said, you know, this really reads pretty well. I'd much rather read it to you as opposed to trying to remember. But this is all about me going down and doing a painting workshop for two, count them, two one-weekers back-to-back -back in one of my most favorite places, 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in, my, in our own casa, filled full of a bunch of artists, and the ocean is right there. Let me read you this script that I wrote. It's better than me trying to remember it, okay? Painting in this charming open-air casa studio Overlooking the authentic fishing village 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Imagine every day creating in the art studio right on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Ah, that ocean breeze is wonderful, right? Welcome to one of my most favorite times in Latin America, Casa de la Artistas. Come and paint with me, beginners and experienced. Abstract acrylic painting and collage workshops, two, one week's. Boy, boy, does this ever sound like an advertisement, right? Refresh your creative spirit. Immerse yourself in the Mexican culture while you stay and paint on the top floor of this casa and studio. We'll be painting a lot. This painting workshop emphasizes loose, expressive abstract techniques, creative tearing collage pieces, and paint splashing at the Casa's magnificent open air studio with the sweeping views, boy do, I ever, do we ever have sweeping views, of the ocean and quaint village of Boca de Tamalan. This is my pancation for me. I hope it's also a pancation for you. Give yourself some time out and reserve your space now. I'll see you down there in Mexico. Hey, thanks for watching. Hi there, painters. Hey, have you ever wanted to meet Van Gogh and Vermeer? I do. Hey, I'm Bob Burridge, and welcome to my Holland Riverboat Cruise. I'm going to Holland. I cannot believe to do a workshop on a riverboat cruise. Nine days of a bliss and imagination and accommodations are spectacular. You know, I did this one in Paris all the way up to Normandy and coming right back down again. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was spectacular. I said, let's do this again, especially of the accommodation. The crew took care of us. The accommodations, the luxury, were just so well taken care of. The foods, as you can well imagine, the excursions, the entertainment. There's a lot going on on those riverboat cruises, but look where we get to go. We got to go to Van Gogh, Museums, Vermeer. We get to see all that history, incredible excursions through those castles, and we get to paint every day. And the meals, we actually hurry back to the lunches on the, on, on the cruise ship. It's a small riverboat cruise just for the meals. Let me tell you, they take care of us. One of my favorite things, I'm looking forward to it, riverboat cruises. That's where it's all happening, small accommodations, educational, especially. So you're gonna see a lot of museums, a lot of castles, and do a lot of painting time with me. I hope to see you there.